Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and this is a different background than what you usually see me, but even on vacation, I still want to show off my 3D prints. And so, uh, let's, let's, let's do this. Are you ready? <laughs> Go. Ah, welcome back. So like I said, we're on a little bit of a family vacation here in beautiful Summit Lake here in Washington, and I printed this. This is a fractal pyramid, and it's just a bunch of just a bunch of pyramids all stacked on top of one another. And the interesting thing about this is it prints with zero support, and it also prints with zero infill and zero retraction. If you try to print this with retraction, you're going to chew through your filament and you're not going to be very happy. So I printed this on the old TMaker 2 Plus using the Matter Hackers Pro PLA, this green, the same one that I did the bob character with. And, and it turned out, well, it, it turned out okay. Uh, first, let me show you the time lapse and then I'm going to show you some of the things I did to try to make it look like this. So are you ready? Time lapse. That was a pretty cool time lapse, I thought, but you don't get this sort of model directly off the build plate looking like this. You have to give it some post processing. And in this case, what I did was peel off some of the little, the little extra filament bits that were left behind. Remember, there was no retraction. So anything that oozed out of the hot end is going to be left behind as little, little remnants. And so I scraped those out with my fingernail and then I used my heat gun and I applied heat and that heat caused any of the tiny, tiny little bits of filament that were still hanging out to shrivel up. And that's how I got a model that looks like this. And I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it, it could look better. Granted, this was just, I hit print and go on the Ulti Maker, and I think with zero retraction, I think I need to change temperatures a little bit and print speeds just a little bit because the pyramid could be better. I think it's still a quality print and it shows it off, but one, I need to change the filament temperature, I believe, so it doesn't ooze out as much and I don't have as much to clean off. And two, I think I need to print this with a better material. This, this Pro PLA from Matter Hackers that's green is actually wonderful material, but it's really hard to photograph. I don't know, maybe a white or a tan or, or a gray, something like that. That could really show it off. So I'll probably print this again and I'd love to see you print it. I would love to see what you come up with. The link to this model is down in the description. All right, well, we're on vacation, so I gotta get back out to it. This was just a quick little print video. I had the print finished before we came on this vacation, but I didn't have time to edit it all together, so that's why I'm filming here on the dock. Again, give it a thumbs up if you thought this was neat. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Please print this model. I would love to see your settings and what you come up with. Again, thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. Videos like this wouldn't be possible without their support. And as always, love each other more. High five.